Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Crystal if you're new. Today we're going to talk about what I packed in my hospital bag. As I'm filming this, I am currently 36 weeks and two days. So yeah, we're getting closer to the end and I need to be prepared so that if something happens, my bags are all packed. So today's video is all about what I packed for me and my husband. I'll do a separate video all about what I packed for baby girl. But... So like I said, today's video is going to be about what I packed for me and my husband. And I have this big old suitcase right here. And I'm just going to go through and show y'all what exactly um, I'm bringing to the hospital. Before I get started, I just want to say that we live in Texas and these are things that my hospital allows and things like that. So yeah, just make sure that you are looking into what your hospital provides and do your own research on where you're actually giving birth at. But yeah, let's get on into what exactly we are bringing to the hospital. So the first thing that I'm bringing, and I actually didn't bring this last time, but I wish I did. You know, I am going to be bringing a big comfy blanket with me. Um, yeah, just the hospital bed blankets and stuff are not very um, thick and cozy. I just really want like a cozy blanket to um, cover up with if I, you know, want that in the middle of the night or whatever. And this one is super soft. So this is the one I'm bringing. <clears throat> Another thing that we are bringing to the hospital this time and that I so wish we would have brought last time was snacks. These are the snacks that I have currently, just some crackers and some, um, like a granola bar or whatever. But last time we got super lucky with um, food. Basically with Benjamin's pregnancy, we ended up eating some lunch and then went into a doctor's appointment it was the day after my due date and the doctor basically was like, your water's about to break. I'll just send you over to the hospital and I'll be over to break your water in a little bit. And yeah, we ended up having him around, um, I think it was 8.06 that night. The cafeteria and all of that stuff was all closed by the time we had Benjamin cleaned up and we were all good to go. And they were like, yeah, I'm sure you're hungry, but um, everything's closed. Let me go see if I can find something for you. And basically, they gave me some, like, crackers and, like, a little soda or something. But Matt really had nothing. And it just so happened that Matt's parents had came to um, come see Benjamin and us. Um, as well as my parents, but Matt's parents ended up bringing a fruit basket. So Matt was able to eat because of the fruit basket. He was able to eat like a banana or an apple or something like that. But because of COVID and everything, we obviously know there won't be any visitors. So I'm definitely packing snacks just in case something like that happens again. And I may add, um, something sweet to our snacks too. I am having to deal with the gestational diabetes right now, so I haven't had anything sweet in a little bit. So I may have to add something to my snacks so that I can, you know, eat something that um, I haven't been able to eat in a while. So we'll start out with my stuff. My, I just finished packing like a couple hours ago because my coming home outfit um, that I'll be wearing home from the hospital just came in the mail today. So after this video, I will be washing it real quick and then putting it back in my bag. But um, what I will be wearing home from the hospital are these comfy pants. They are so soft. Like, I can't wait to wear these. 
but they're just um, some stretchy pants with a drawstring and the bottoms are just, you know, kind of, they're not like skin tight or anything. They just kind of hang. Comfy pants to wear home from the hospital. And then with that, I am going to probably be wearing this um, shirt. I got it from Amazon as well as the pants. Um, and they just have like these little um, folded sleeves and there is a pocket. It's kind of just a real loose kind of hanging, you know, shirt or whatever. But I do have an extra shirt just in case that one just doesn't feel right or whatever. I am going to be bringing this gray kind of like oversized like flowy shirt as well which I've worn this one before I already have this one so that is what I'll be wearing home from the hospital as far as after I give birth I last time with Benjamin I ended up staying in the uh, the hospital gown for longer than I really wanted to we had pictures taken and um like the pictures that the hospital provides and I do not like how I, how it looks with me Benjamin's all dressed cute and um Matt you know looks nice and then I'm in this hospital gown so I decided to get um some pajamas or like more like a nightgown so that I can get I can change, but they can still, you know, check my bleeding and all of that stuff. And I don't have to worry about having pants on and all of that. So this is the, um, the nightgown that I got. Um, as you can see, it's like easy for nursing. You just pull it to the side. It has, um, like longer short sleeves and, um, it's just, it does have this little slit of, you know, in it, but it's super flowy and comfy and I will be wearing this after I give birth so that I can look a little nicer, but, um, you know, they're still able to check me and all of that stuff. Another thing that I have packed is just a nursing bra. Um, I just have this one packed right here. This one is, I believe, from... Yeah, this one is from Target. It's Alden. And it's just a super comfy um, nursing bra that has the, um, the clip or whatever. And yeah, that is the nursing bra that I'll pack. I will, you know, obviously be wearing one when I go in because that's what I wear now. Um, so I'll basically have two, one to change into, and then I'll be wearing one as well. I also am bringing my own socks. Um, I have two pair right here because I do not like the hospital socks. They are just, they don't fit right. There are, I feel like they're like one size fits all. Um, but if you do get your own socks, make sure that they have the little grippies on the bottom because otherwise you, um, you could fall, especially if you get epidural. So you need the little grippies on the bottom. I'm also bringing a pair of undies. I probably, I'm like 99% sure that I'm not going to wear these while I'm at the hospital. Um, because the hospital provides you with like mesh underwear, but I just wanted to bring one pair just in case. But like I said, I'm 99% sure that I won't be wearing these until like I get home or whatever, because the hospital, um, the hospital mesh undies, um, are what I'll be wearing. Now I'm going to move on to toiletries and here is my bag. It's just, um, this bag that I got from I think I got it from Target and it just opens up and I have some pockets up here and then all of this stuff down here so I just have a contact case
some uh, nursing pads, which again, I probably won't be using, um, but I have them just in case. Um, with Benjamin, my milk didn't come in until we were at home for like two days already. So, but uh, we'll see, you know, when they come in, but I doubt it's when I'm in the hospital. But then I have some hair ties. I have um, a hairbrush and a toothbrush. I have um, some lotion. I really like this lotion for my hands. Um, I get dry hands, so I love this one. I have some contact solution, which this uh, my husband will share with me. I also have a little container in here. Um, this has coconut oil that I'm going to use for um, like nipple cream. I also have some chapstick. You want chapstick because when you're pushing and breathing hard and all of that stuff, you definitely want chapstick. I have a little thing of deodorant. I have some shampoo and some conditioner and I have some toothpaste and I have some face wash for myself and some soap. And then, oh, I also have some Q-tips if I need those. Another thing that I'm bringing, which this is not, like, I'm probably, I may not even use this, honestly. But I am bringing my makeup just in case. Um, I may want to put some on after I take my shower and get all cleaned up because after labor you're all nasty and stuff. But... I definitely will be taking a shower while I'm at the hospital and I may want to put makeup on and I also may want to straighten my hair. So I have my hair straightener, but again, if I don't, you know, do those things, it's not a big deal. I just want to have it just in case. And that is basically it for me. So now I'm going to move on to Matt and show y'all what I packed for him. For Matt, I just have a pair of jeans for him with a, um, like a gray short sleeve shirt. And then I also have some like basketball type shorts for like to sleep in at night with a, like a lighter gray, um, t-shirt and then some boxers and socks. And then he has a little toiletry bag as well, and it just has some deodorant, some toothpaste, um, shaving cream, and a razor in case he needs that, some shampoo, and um, contact case, toothbrush. And yeah, like I said earlier, um, the contact solution I have in my bag, but he will be using that as well. And same with the, um, the bar soap. Um, he'll just use it out of, out of my bag. And the only other things that we will have to grab as we're like leaving the house or whatever, um, uh, there, I have a list right here that I'm just going to have sitting on my bag that, um, we can just quickly grab. And, um, the things that we'll have to grab, um, last minute are like our phone chargers because we're still using those. Um, glasses. We both wear contacts, so we'll definitely need to grab our glasses. But again, we're still using those. We wear them every night. And we need to grab Matt's retainer. I'm going to be putting my wallet in um, probably the diaper bag, which is what I have Riley's stuff all packed in, which, like I said, that will be a separate video. So stay tuned for that. And it's Texas, weather's all over the place. Um, you know, it was warm the other day and now it's cold again. So basically, if we don't wear jackets to the hospital, we'll probably grab a jacket um, to bring with us just in case because you never know what the weather's gonna be like. 
um, with Benjamin. He was born in January and we basically went into the hospital wearing short sleeves, flip flops, like it was hot. And we came out of the hospital on the coldest day of the year. Like we, it was so cold. Um, the nurses were so kind to put a um, blanket in the dryer and they literally gave it to me as we were walking out the door so that um, Benjamin wouldn't be so cold. So yeah, it's Texas. You never know what the weather's going to be like. And then the last thing that I'll probably grab is the, um, the thing to like prick my finger with, um, since I'm have uh, gestational diabetes, but like I said, I'm still using that. So can't pack it. But yeah, that is basically everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Remember to be on the lookout for what I packed in Riley's hospital bag. That video will be coming soon. So be on the lookout. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.